Speaking with an iron, it's hot. It's good. It's good to go. You can really move that around. Now, if I had my Bernina, which has a big throat, I could do double the size. Okay. And I also just roll it gently. You know. The other thing about this is you don't necessarily have to quilt from the middle out. And that is yeah, it's it, obviously with a long arm you don't have to anyway, but you just quilt from the top down or whatever. But uh, even with my mid arm, I, I find that I don't worry too much about quilting from the inside out. A lot of times I do start with the face if I have a portrait, but other than that I don't. So there's that. Now you can see, see I did these down here, you can see how small they are, I did these. But they're very, they're very, uh, it's, it's simple. It's simple. It's you. <laughs> it is. Did, it, did that look complicated? <laughs> no, it's not that. Yes. Do you have a certain presser foot that you can go all directions, or is it? Like <clears throat> okay, if you want to do that, that is when the, um, like if you have a Bernina, I love the clear foot that's kind of like a bubble. Those are really nice. Um, <clears throat> you can also get an open toe darning foot. You know, it's, it's metal, but it has an opening in it so you can see. But <clears throat> what happens is when you're first starting out and you're free motioning, it gets messy. Now, as you get more confident, you can definitely go there, but you don't have to. I know a lot of award-winning quilters who don't, they just, they just go, you know? They just stitch it like, like, like they're doing that by moving the fabric. Excuse me. <coughs> so, you know, you can. I mean, I enjoy that process, but I did enjoy it on my domestic. I enjoyed it on my mid arm. And I have a sweet 16, and I have a fancy mini arm, doesn't have a stitch regulator. I just do it. You have a lot of space, don't you? What? You have a lot of space, don't you? I, have, I, I don't think I could fit one more thing in my sorry studio. Okay, I could not fit one more thing. I mean, um, anyway. Yeah, no, I could. I bought the small frame. I, I save money. Your rationalization. Okay, um, I hope that you guys got my flyer thing. I do want to give a shout out. I am teaching in Kayenta Landscapes in Fabric. It's from anybody who's an expert quilter, never touched a piece of fabric. We're not going to use sewing machines. All the supplies are supplied. Um, it's three hours. I'm sure it'll last a little longer if you need help. Um, and you'll learn all the basic concepts of landscape. And it's on October uh, 14th, midday. So you can come out in the morning, grab a cup of coffee in Kayenta, finish, go have lunch in Kayenta, and bring a girlfriend. Um, we'll have fun. Okay, whenever I teach, if you're not having fun, I'm not doing my job. That was October 14th at what time? At so 1 to, to 1 to oh, 10 a.m. No, 10 to 1. Thank you. There you go. 10 to 1. And out in Kayenta, bring a friend, <coughs> make it a day, have a, have a little, little fun out there. Um, and so there's, it's, the workshop is limited to 10, but um, so be a cozy group. And like I said, you don't have to bring anything, and that's the beauty of it. You could go hiking in the morning. You I know, but I won't, but you can. <laughs> and you can exercise for me, okay? I need someone to do that. Um, okay, questions? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You. you are welcome. Don't forget, go to my website too. There's lots of information there on how to do this whole thing.